Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we discussed that how to use the expected condition class even though it is deprecated and how to replace the page factory with lambda expression. Now, if, if you still want to use the page factory in your project, then you need to take the help of one more package. So just open the NuGet package manager and search for .NET Selenium Extras. Now in this, we have a package called page object, which will provide the support for page factory. So just install this in your project. After this, I'm going to just clean and rebuild this solution. And now I'm going to replace the Lambda expression with the page factory concept. So I'm just going to pause the recording for the while. So I have replaced the Lambda expression with the page factory concept. Now, whenever you're using the, uh, the newly added package, you need to use the proper namespace along it. So currently, if I look at the find by attribute, it is coming from WebDriver API that is openqa selenium dot support. But in our case, when we are using the .NET Selenium extra, then we need to use the attribute from that namespace or package. So I'm going to remove this particular namespace and this will be replaced by selenium extras dot page object. Similarly, in other page classes, So let me uncomment all of them. So here also remove the webdriver package and then add the selenium dot extras. So this option is this option is coming when I press control dot, the auto suggest. So this is done inside the page base. Now you can uncomment the page factory. So control dot and use the selenium extras dot page page object. Now this is done. So I'm going to just quickly run this test test page object. So the test is working fine. So in this manner, you can use the Selenium extra package to use the page factory concept. 